This is our home, and as you can see uh, later, uh, I took over the back. This is Dan Marsh, an inventor here in San Antonio that lives by one rule. There are no rules. If you want to innovate and do something great, you can't have rules. You got to break them. It's a literal rite of passage in his home. I can't look at what's been normal for a hundred years. Uh, you know, in order to change, you got to take take bold steps. I wire brushed and sanded everything. For Dan, those bold steps meant rethinking personal wind turbines. Not the giant ones in farms, but small units that power homes. Uh, isn't this weak as that one? A lot of it was, uh, I didn't like paying my electric bill. So, <laughs> I, uh, you know, and it's funny because I think at that time, my electricity bill went down to about 20 or 25 bucks a month. Your CPS is worst nightmare. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you can probably relate. When he retired four years ago, he turned his passion for renewable energy into action. When they spin too fast, they make too many volts, and too many volts can burn up uh, controllers, uh, it can melt devices, it can uh, catch on fire itself. So, Dan had his shark tank moment. There, there's got to be a better way. And now, with Dan's company, Pirate Wind Turbines, there just might be. We're able to control the vol volts no matter the speed, no matter how high the wind blows. To test it, Dan took unconventional approaches, let's say. From beach trials and backyard experiments to strapping a propeller on his truck and hitting the highway. A lot of the technology is uh, decades old and uh, I decided to be the one to jump out off a ledge and see if I can change it. And it looks like we did. Does that turn the switch on? His stable volt technology keeps turbines from overloading. Watch this demo. A light bulb hooked up to a turbine engine. Without his tech, it nearly explodes from too many volts. With this system turned on, it stays bright and steady. Others in the industry see the promise. In an email, B-Win CEO and co-founder Michael Burdan said, quote, it could make significant improvements to horizontal and some vertical designs. Dan's also gotten guidance from industry leaders like Jonathan Knight of Uprise Energy. And hopefully um, he can learn from that and, and uh, take advantage of some of the good stuff that we've done and learn from some of the mistakes that we've made along the way. He also won an innovation contest at Texas State University, which netted him some cash and a mentor. He and I have very different personalities. I'm more project, milestones, data driven, and he's more, let's go! So... Um, which is, which I really embrace. Roshman helped him refine his research and strategy and believes in the work. The technology has merit. I do think that if he finds the right uh, partner and the right investor, um, this can be really, really interesting. And that's the next step, finding an investor that can help Dan get to his end goals. I don't have any desire to start a factory, uh, hire a hundred employees and all that. I would rather just license technology to someone that has uh, uh, larger manufacturing capabilities than I could ever dream of and uh, sit on the beach in Italy for a couple of years. Until then, we'll be right here. No rules in sight. For News 4 San Antonio, I'm Matt Roy.